Electrostatics is the study of stationary charges, where charge is strictly defined as the property of matter, that thing in matter, that causes it to experience a force when placed in an electric field. Now, we normally would just know charges as either being positive, which comes from a proton, or negative, which comes from an electron. And an electric field is a region in space around a charged object in which another charged object would experience a force. And we can show that with an electric field pattern that shows the region around this positive charge where other objects would experience a force and the same with this pattern around the negatively charged object. What's important to see here is that charges are able to move. They're able to move from one object to another and usually that is done through friction. It is also important to note here that it is only electrons that can move as a result of friction as the protons, the positive charge, do not move. They stay where they are. And so when electrons move from one object to another, the charge moves with them. We can demonstrate how friction causes a transfer of electrons or a transfer of charge with a very simple setup that has a cloth, a piece of perspex, which is just uh, any normal ruler, and some small pieces of paper. And what we can do is we can, by rubbing the perspex, onto our cloth, what we will start to see or what is happening here is that we are transferring the electrons from the cloth onto the perspex and as a result we are building up a positive charge on this perspex ruler. We can demonstrate that charge by bringing it close to some small very light piece of paper. You will see that before I even touch those paper pieces that the pieces of paper start to move. This is as a result of the electric field that is built up around this and then when they do touch you will see that they are able to stick to the piece of perspex as a result of the charge build up and the attraction between the negative charge that is built up on the perspex and the polarization of the pieces of paper. So what we've shown here is that through the friction between the perspex and the cloth we have built up an excess of electrons that have been transferred from the cloth onto the perspex, which makes this perspex negatively charged. It also makes the cloth slightly more positively charged. And the fact that there is now a charge build up on this piece of perspex means that it is able to attract the positive charges that are present in the pieces of paper, which causes this attraction that we have seen in this demonstration.